Well, how it goes and goes. We are uh, we've done some stuff with Project Fallout. You can see on the shadow there. It looks interesting, doesn't it? Uh, sorry about the wind noise, guys and girls. It's a really hot day today, and the uh, the wind is actually quite bad. Uh, well, it's actually a, a cool breeze, but it's uh, it's bad for hay fever. I've got quite a bit of hay fever at the moment. But yeah, we've got sort of a bit of a roof rack now. Bumpers are on. I don't know if they saw those before. Parcel shelf is in. I, don't, I can't remember how long it's been since I've done a video log on this car now. And as you can see, we've got uh, some things have changed with the looks of the car now. All in all, it's pretty incredible. Uh, it's changed it a lot. <clears throat> I have all new tyres all, all around now. They're all... Uh, not brand brand new, but the part ones, relatively new. They've still got the little knobbly bits on them, which normally wear off by now, but they're still good. Inside's a little bit of a mess. I've uh, I've been doing wiring and things. Um, uh, whoa, there's some heat in there. <coughs> I am um, at the point now where I am wiring in the remainder of the dashboard. So that's going to get wired in with the nice little, um, not Nixie, sorry, uh, it's the vacuum fluorescent display clock. I'd like a Nixie clock, but eh, you've got to use what you can find. <coughs> the vacuum display clock will work fine. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got the dash to wire in. Sadly the LED is all on this side that took me ages to make. Uh, I've not got anything to buy them into, which is a bit of a shame uh, because the thing that I was going to wire them into, which was a radar detector just so it's just, I wasn't, it wasn't obviously because I'm going to break any speed limits or anything just because I want something to flash, you know, while I'm driving around makes it a little, a little more interesting and we get a lot of um, radar here in the UK, especially X-band uh, radar which, uh, which automatic doors often run on so if you're driving through the centre of town and everything you get loads of X-band interference absolute tons of it so you know driving past shops or something generally you always get X-band interference but yeah um, I was going to have those wired up so that each LED did a different band but the the actual thing that I was using wherever it is, it's here somewhere there's part of it <clears throat> the actual LEDs inside there are only one volt um, act actuated, yeah, activated. So I'd have to run it all through transistor system to do that, and I can't be asked to build all that up because they're three volt LEDs in here. So they're very dim, which yeah, isn't a bit naff really. To run all my extras, I am going to run them through a relay in the actual fuse box itself. Now. I had an old Fiat Panda four by, uh, sorry, an old Fiat Panda fuse box that I cut all of the connectors out of. These things. I'm going to go and sit these inside that relay carrier that's actually built into the fuse box, and make it so that it's all nice, and neat job, and the few, the actual relay will sit inside the inside the actual thing. The plan being is to hide all the wires that do it and use probably fake wires. I mean. I won't mind getting some of this stuff because it's proper 1950s, 1940s spec wiring, you know. <coughs> Period wiring to the um, not to the car, but to the uh, to the style. Uh, I had to dashboard out sadly to put, put a decent earth cable in. Like I say, I always like to overdo my earths, and I've got a very thick, almost solid cord cable here. I think it's only got six strands in it, but it's. Uh, Design sort of ridiculous, like 30 amps or something. I don't think I'll be drawing that much current. <clears throat> Basically, on here, I've got it all done through a relay. I've got my constant live going through the N1. I'm going to have an ignition live going through the middle. The ignition live is going to be switched by the relay. Uh, so, no matter, so if someone wants to break into the car and just jump jump the two together you couldn't start the car and, and be on your way so yeah 
Only that it's got alarms and the mobilizers on it and stuff. Good luck to them if they try it. And I've also got my uh, my earth. And the only thing that's wired into it at the moment is the clock, but I've not got my ignition live yet. <coughs> so I've got to do that first, and then I can put my ignition live on. Put a radio in, as you can see. It's not much of a radio, but I've put one in. It's one of those dead short ones with no no CD in it. And in this day and age, why do you need CDs? And we've got USB memory sticks and SD cards and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so I thought, oh, I'll sod it, we'll just have that in. I got it for pretty much nothing, so... Yeah, not too fussed. I'm um, also in the process of wiring speakers in. I've got speakers left, right and centre. These are just held in with the magnet. It'd be nice if they could actually fit in there, because they sit in there quite nice. Might like a little bracket up, you know, bolt it onto these things here and just have a little L-shaped bracket that it just sits in. Maybe. I don't know. I've got my lovely extension speaker up there for my CB radio, which I thought was a great place to put it. Uh, I'm going to run the CB radio in the door pocket, I think. It's, it's a bit of a bodge, but yeah, sod it. It'll be fine. Can't wait till I put, um, you know, uh, central locking on this car. Just on the two front doors. I'm not going to bother with the boot. <coughs> but uh, yeah, it could be, be a bit of fun, that. Uh, other than that, as you can see, I've put some netting in the back. Which just gives it a little bit of a, uh, a more, I don't know, off-roady kind of look, I suppose. I don't know whether to do the back window or not. I'm not sure, but uh, <coughs> yeah, from the sides it, it looks a little more interesting, you see. I've got some very nice uh, police aware stickers coming, so you know, the car's going to look like it's a scrapyard car. And I've got some very nice police aware stickers, which are obviously going to, I'm going to stick on these rear quarters, just police aware. They're quite big too, 15 centimetres by 10 centimetres, so it's... Off the size of an A4 sheet of paper, pretty much. Quite a good size. Just like the real things. Uh, the other side of the car, my brother found me some of the caution electric cable. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but he found some. And I've done the other side of the car because this side was completely, you know, nothing on it at the moment. Uh, well, at the time. So I decided to I'll style this side of the car as well. Also, did the bonnet with the. Uh, with the tape which has come out pretty good and the roof rack is just all that steel tubing I had down there on the floor and it's just just been you know made up to sort of go on I've yet got to uh, weld in the slats which are all here so the bars that go across the, the roof rack it's gonna be a nice sized roof rack it's gonna be a big one maybe in future time I would like to actually make it so I can extend it outwards a bit maybe bring it out here and have it sitting out and then down to probably the top of the bull bars you know don't know what the uh, ODMOT guy would say I'll have, to take it, I'll have to ask him that when I take it in but as it goes I think that roof right looks pretty good um, I'm not sure exactly if it's finished yet or not I don't know whether to do something with the fins the fins were just an idea I thought of oh sod it why not you know, I should have really probably done them on the front, but I didn't. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether to put a bar going across the two at the top. Uh, what do you think, guys and girls? I'm open for suggestions here. If you could uh, actually let me know, that'd be great. I've got all my bars and stuff down here. That's actually the scrap metal pile, that my old exhaust off the car on the drive because that dropped off well, it didn't drop off but it was pretty close to being dropping off you can see it was a bit crusty the old pipe was quite bad there we go, where is it, there you go there's holes coming in it you see so I thought, yeah we'll swap it over with the one from off this car and then I'll we'll replace the one from off this car with the spare one I had down the garden and, uh, yeah. So it's all like all been swapsies. 
this car still starts up and runs. It's not been run for a while, but it, it would if I. Yeah, it would if I was to uh, put the battery back on and start it. Uh, yeah, that's about it, really, guys and girls. Oh, I swapped my mirror over as well. Uh, I had just a standard thingy mirror, but now I've got one with a a night mode, which is quite nice. But I do hate it when you get blinded and you've got to do that with your mirror and then you've got to set it all back again. You know, it's nice when you can just set it. I do, uh, you know, that was the mirror I had in there originally, so. And it doesn't have a night mode on it, so it's one you have to bend out of the way. Hey guys and girls, you see me with hay fever? Lovely. Uh, I did actually get another mirror from the scrapyard, I don't know where it went to. It was just one of these stick on jobbies, uh, I got it because it was a bit of fun. And it didn't cost me anything, so. Yeah. Oh, it's over there, look. Yeah, a little stick on mirror that just sticks on, that's it. Like I say, a bit of fun, and I thought, oh, sod it, we'll get that. Use that. You know, stick it in as an extra mirror. <laughs> oh, dear me. It's damn hay fever, guys and girls, it's killing me. Friends over in Australia, they get it, and it's like, oh, dear. <clears throat> right, anyway. I guess I'd best do some more electrical work, or either duck into the house and try and recover from this hay fever for a bit. I have been wearing a, uh, a paper mask, a paper dust mask, which is HEPA approved too. It's uh, HP5, I do believe, is the name of the mask. If you Google it, it is a HEPA mask, and it does help. It well, it completely obliterates hay fever. You don't get any symptoms at all. Uh, it's just a mask which covers your nose and your mouth. It's got a little one-way uh, valve on it, so as you breathe out, it all goes out through the valve rather than staying in the mask, which is damn annoying. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it's it's good. I'm happy with it. It works. You look like a bit of an idiot when you walk around with it on, but I don't care what people think about it. I've got no pretty for symptoms. Uh, anyway... So, that's about it for this video, guys and girls. 12 odd minutes. And I'll catch you later on. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long before I do another video like It's been ages since. I've still got to get myself a wiper on, so... Yeah. Waiting for one of them. Uh, and that's it, yeah. So yes, guys and girls, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.